This video demonstrates how to properly lubricate the Pine G1 gyratory compactor. You will need a grease gun with a 45 degree end, 7 16 inch socket and ratchet or nut driver, a number 2 Phillips head screwdriver, degreaser solution, anti-seize, putty knife, and paper towels or rags. Begin by removing the front and rear actuator arm covers and screws. Grease both the actuator arm grease fitting as well as the actuator arm crank grease fitting in the front and rear of the machine. Grease these areas with two pumps of grease. Do not over grease this area. Replace the front and rear actuator arm covers. Remove the ball screw bearing cover on the lower left side of the machine. Due to the location of the ball screw bearing, it is necessary to have a 45 degree adapter on the end of your grease gun. Grease the fitting with two pumps. Replace the cover. You will then remove the mold top. With the compaction chamber door closed, depress the ram up button to raise the ram until the gap in the ram foot assembly is level with the top of the mold clamp handles. Spray a clean rag with degreaser and twirl it around the gap of the ram foot assembly to remove the old anti-seize. This step usually needs repeated several times until the rags are relatively clean. With a putty knife, apply a light coat of anti-seize to the front half of the ram body upper surface, as well as the front half of the ram floating foot lower surface. Rotate the ram foot 180 degrees. This will distribute the anti-seize all the way around the ram foot assembly. Close the compaction chamber door and depress the ram down button, lowering the ram and parking the machine. Lastly, we will remove the mold top clamp handles individually, one at a time. Pay close attention to the order of the brass washers and shims when removing them. Clean all dried anti-seize from between the handle, the brass washers, and shims. Then apply a light coating of anti-seize in between each surface, as well as the mold top handle threads. Reinstall in the machine. Lubricate is necessary when the handles get hard to loosen. Remove and clean any excess anti-seize remaining on the mold top clamp handles. Cleaning and greasing the actuator and ball screw bearings should be done every 100 hours or 12 months, whichever comes first. Your machine has been lubricated. Remember, routine cleaning and lubricating will keep your gyratory compactor running optimally, provide more accurate test results, and extend the life of your machine. Thanks for watching. If you need further assistance, call Pine Test Equipment or visit our website. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more instructional videos regarding your Pine gyratory equipment.